Some of these cuts are deeper cuts, so I'm not gonna try and break them out. The bond between passion and pain can be found. Scored in glass. This one's gonna be quite a challenge. Jay Gruders is a stained glass artist. Let's see here. Had sort of a knack for it and just started doing it. He's also a husband in grief. We had a really good life together. She was a wonderful person. She was very outgoing and kind of person that, that connected with everybody. Jay and Fran Gruders lived in Estes Park together for decades. Uh, we both liked the mountains. We wanted to live up here. It's not an easy place to live. Hard to make a living. Hiking was her passion. And she's actually hiked all the trails in the park. Stained glass. I look at these now and think, how did I ever do these? Was his. I'm amazed by it, really. Jay made windows for churches all around the Estes Park area. So I did the face where I actually drilled out the mouth. He created his art for nearly 50 years. A lot of people are quite touched by the glass. Until he had to stop. Fran was diagnosed with ALS, causing her to lose functions of all her muscles. Jay's passion became caring for his wife. It gets to where it's hard to walk, hard to swallow. I had to put a feeding tube in her stomach. In May, she was called to be with God. Words can hardly express what it's like sitting there watching somebody pass away in front of you. You know you're never going to see him again. What he can't express in words, oh. he can express in art. I usually do my own designs, but this was something special. Instead of making something serious. So the friend of it says, I love you. And then I open up and he says, something fierce. Jay is making something special, a card he gave Fran. And he says, all my love to Fran. Happy Valentine's Day and birthday. Love, Jay. <laughs> she gave it back to him the next year and they passed it back and forth every February 14th. Probably 20 years or more. And now, he's giving it back to her one final time. This is the one that sort of in memory of her. I've always wanted to do it, and I thought, well, I think I'll try it and see. Okay. It joins his art outside the room he shared with Fran at the Good Samaritan Society in Estes Park. It's worth the extra work. And it came out good. A work of love that's more important to Jay than 50 years of work combined. Yeah, this is a lot of fun and mean different things, but this one has a lot of special meaning to it. Oh, she'd love it. She knows I wanted to do it. Passion, healing pain. So this is sort of a memorial to her. Through the bonds of panes of glass. She'd probably just cry with happiness. How sweet. That was Nelson Garcia reporting. Jay says when he was making the stained glass for his wife, he had to use some new techniques he hadn't used before. He's never made lettering quite that small, but had to make sure that it said the whole thing. I love you something fierce, just like the card.